What's going on? It's your boy Double Do It today. We're doing another action figure review. Today we're gonna be doing the DC Comics Designer Series Greco Pulo Action Figure Wave Talon. As you can see, he is the number two in the series, Batman being number one. Um, you guys already seen my Nightwing review. Uh, these figures are really dope, man. I really recommend all of these guys. In yes, even in even the Riddler, man. You need the Riddler. Um, the figures are sick, man. I love the story arc was dope too. There goes how he looks in the comics and the New 52 line. And here goes the set again, celebrating 75 years of Batman. Na, 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 na. It's crazy, right? How Batman is the same age as Marvel is the company. And then, again, you already know, I already opened all these dudes. So let's just get this dude open real quick. See what we're working with. These figures are really nice, man. These, uh, Again, I got to give you guys a warning. Be careful with them. The... The, the joints come really, really tight. I had problems with with this figure, Talon. His bicep was stuck. And his uh, boot swivel was really stuck. So, yeah. He comes with this nice mask. Nice hard plastic. Sounds like a... Almost like bone, maybe. He comes with two blades. Which you see here. These blades... One of my blades broke... And I glued it back together with the nail glue that I told you guys about in um, the Nightwing review. Uh, the daggers do come out of their sheaths. See, he can use them. So he has a lot of, lot, a lot of accessories, man, which is really cool. Um, his sheaths on his back came, they came split open they were they weren't completely glued so i took care of that again with the nail glue it comes with these two short short ninja blades very nice looking nice man the detail is cool the hilts are nice i wish this the silver was a little bit um brighter this this silver is a, a bit dull but it looks cool he got a sheet for the other knife on the side right here it comes out the scope work is nice the line work is good uh um not much to complain about here, other than the paint jobs. The paint jobs on all the figures were pretty uh, sporadic. Some some were good, some had some splotches here and there. So, um, I don't know, I guess I guess it was where I got it from, because I, I got a choice of what I wanted. And from looking at everything, these were the best ones that I got. So, um, he's a really good looking figure. I love the detail. Uh, there's nothing else to say, man. This is a, this figure doesn't disappoint. Look at his owl gauntlet, and then he has a gauntlet with throwing needles on this side. Nice knuckles. Sword is cool. His visor is, is sick. I love it. I just hate that he doesn't have no head articulation, which sucks. Can't move it around or nothing like that. But I could deal with it. Nice look right here, man. This is a really good looking figure. I was excited for this when they were announced. When I saw the announcement, I think it was at um, New York City Comic Con, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that. Or oh, SDCC. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't remember last year. But these joints are sick, man. His articulation is the same as Nightwing. Like, minus the head movement. He has no head movement. No pivoting, nothing. He has a ball head shoulder. Bicep swivel. Single jointed elbow. Forearm swivel and the wrist pivots back and forth and swivels. Um, he has an ab crunch, he goes back that much, forward that much. He has a waist swivel, these like the gaping cross fits again with the brittle plastic. He has the hip, the nice hip joints, they don't kick up high, which is kind of a bummer, but it kind of sucks, man. But it is what it is. These are really good figures. He has an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. He has a boot swivel, and a, I mean, a, yeah, a boot swivel. Sorry, an ankle swivel, and then an ankle pivots back and forward. 
The sheath just came off, so I gotta glue that now. This figure is, man, this figure is really good. I do recommend, again, this whole wave. You have to get this whole wave, bro. You will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. The paint issues are not that serious. They, the paint, again, though I, I say that the quality control of the paint is spotty, it is way better than what we've been getting lately from Marvel Legends. So it's not really that much of a, of a big deal. So again, man, just get this whole wave. This whole wave is what it is, man. It's what's up. This is, this, these won't disappoint. They, they're about six and seven fifths of an inch. Almost seven inch figures, so they will be slightly taller than your average um, DC UC figure. They will not fit in with that line, but they go well. They go pretty well with some Marvel Legends. Maybe they they just come out. They come out taller, like they're all taller than the other figures and stuff. And um, which it kind of does suck, man, because. These would go really dope with um, DC Universe Classics, but <clears throat> here's a comparison, see? That's DC UC Steel. Look how tall he is. <clears throat> Damn, yeah, they're almost there. It's just like, those guys would be all like seven footers. He goes, these go more in scale with like the, the, the Mattels, see? Like that. The WWE Mattel Elites. But these joints are sick, man. I really recommend them. Cop them. The best ones on the line are, again, Nightwing, Batman, and Talon. But you got to get the real though. You can't just leave them there to suffer. So that's my review, man. Thanks for stopping by. Hit the like button if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. I don't know what you're waiting for. And just holla at me in general, people. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. I'm here. And I'm trying to get the Comic Con this year. Uh, follow my Twitter, my Instagram, like my Facebook page. All the links in the description below. And just get at me, people, generally, man. Holla. One.